always hated in church is love for his portrayal of the Sandman in the Spider-Man movies, but doing Spider-Man No Way Home, he was cut. Thomas Hayden Church returned after 14 years for Spider-Man No Way Home after Spider-Man 3. What's interesting is even though he was in the movie, he was never on set for a single day during production. The reason for this was Thomas Hayden Church was contracted for another role so he couldn't be on set during the making of Spider-Man No Way Home. And for the very few scenes he's not in Sandman form, they just have reused footage of him from Spider-Man 3. And same for Risa Fons, who was busy with House of the Dragon, so he used reused footage of him from Amazing Spider-Man. For Thomas Hayden Church and Risa Fons, they ended up both voicing the characters but not doing any actual performance. Now, after recent leaks, it was shown that Thomas Hayden Church was supposed to be in the movie, where there was a detailed scene of him being captured in the first half. Thomas Hayden Church was supposed to appear in his normal form with Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, which is a shame because the leak was supposed to explain why Sandman was in the movie. That's because he had redemption at the end of Spider-Man 3, but was evil again for Spider-Man No Way Home. And if he could have made it to production, it could have explained what happened. Well, I guess we'll never know, and with that, I'm Charles Prado. I hope you learned something.